G'day Big V, we are with our Division 2 men here today. We're going to discuss a very specific award, a very deserving award for some of our younger athletes playing in our senior program. Mark, what is this award? It's the Youth, League, uh, youth Player of the Year, Ted. Um, so this recognises anybody who's youth eligible age who's been playing um, in the senior competition. Um, so potentially whether that be ahead of their time or whether they've just seen uh, seen the opportunity for development to go up early. And, um, you know, it's an exciting award across the Big V community and sort of you get to see a little bit of a glimpse into who um, is going to be a, a mainstay for the rest uh, for the future. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I let's get that. started. I'll take over. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take over. We have Nick from Mosa from Altona. He is doing very well in his 19 minutes per game, averaging just shy right of 10 points. He can shoot the ball at a pretty healthy clip, 34 uh, percent. He gets his few rebounds here and there. He is sort of a bit turnover prone, but that could just come towards his his youth, his youth age, and, and just inexperience in this senior competition. But a guy who's going to you know add value in this team next to Patel, a guy who's you know had those opportunities in senior level before. Yeah, for sure. For most, has been feel like that family's been around for a long time. Um, but he's yeah, he's certainly a decent player, and um, will continue to improve. Over to Maccabi, where we've got the Deeper Tolly boys, Bailey and Noah Deeper Tolly. Um, Bailey's been uh, fantastic this year, averaging 14 uh, points a game. Um, sometimes starts, sometimes off the bench, and um, yeah, he, he shoots the ball um, a lot, <laughs> um, but he shoots at a decent clip. So 31%, you wouldn't wouldn't argue with that, and the coach won't be too um, disappointed with him um, letting that thing fly. No, absolutely not. Noah, his brother as well, 9.2 points per game in his 18 minutes. Another guy who shoots the ball very well, not quite as much, but shooting 42% from the land of plenty. Yeah, there are um, ones to watch out for in the future at Maccabi. And this one really surprised me. Young Liam Allison from Melton has been a star this year. Melton have been in a lot of close games, and Liam Allison is the reason why. He's just got a trip. Triple-double on the weekend just gone, and he's averaging 15.6 points per game um, this year to go with 8.5 rebounds and plenty of assists too, Ted. Yeah, it's fantastic. Great to see him you know, adding all this value. He's the highest uh, average minutes in his Melton team, so he's definitely got a huge influence in this team, which is awesome to see at such a young age. Yeah, if they can start putting some extra pieces around him, um, they'll have a bright future. Over to Mildura, which is a different sort of structured um, team, being so uh, isolated and rural. Mm. Um, but they've got young Lachlan Knight, who's uh, performing well this year, um, averaging 17.7 points per game in just under 15 minutes a game. So he's had an opportunity to start in a couple, but I feel like he's um, somebody to watch out for in the future at Mildura. Yeah, absolutely. Moving on to Sherbrooke, we have Jacob Burke Doggett, a player who's only played just the four games. He's predominantly that youth league uh, player at the moment, sort of looking towards his finals run. But when he comes into this senior team, there is no doubt that he adds value. He isn't the tallest guy on the floor, but he's quick and he can get shots off and he can play around the ring. So very, very impressive. 11 points per game in his 15 minutes. Yeah, incredibly crafty. And I hope we see more of him at um, at the senior level, um, just like we've seen him at the youth league for a while now. Absolutely. Over to Wallen, and we've got... Um, one real standout, I believe he might have been the Youth Player of the Year last year at this in this league, and his name is Tyler Best. He's averaging 15.7 points a game, and uh, he can rebound the ball, he can steal the ball, he can um, set his teammate up with nice dimes. He is a, um, he'll be a front runner for this award again, Ted. Yeah, absolutely. Very, very talented young boy. He is definitely playing in the CBL as well, adding value there. But when he comes back here, he is a shining light. Absolute no star. Doubt. And they've had a little bit of a find here in young Jaden O'Brien, who's been coming off the bench this year. Um, particularly in the last couple of weeks, he's had a couple of 20-point games and averaging 10 points uh, a game for the season. He's one to keep an eye on, Ted. Absolutely. Moving on to Whittlesey, our last one here for the day is young Max Sajanovic. The 19 minutes per game in his 11 shows, 12 points per game. He can shoot the clip. Pretty well at 31%. He gets his rebounds. He can steal the ball. He doesn't turn it over overly much, which is very, very impressive for him in a team that has not lost yet. Yeah, and what an opportunity to play with 
in a in a successful team with experienced players, um, he's just going to get better and better. Absolutely. That'll be all for us today, guys. We'll speak to you very soon.